Welcome and thank you for watching Minnesota Housing's Home Investment Partnerships, also known as HOME, and National Housing Trust Fund Uniform Relocation Act tutorial. This brief tutorial will take a high-level look at the Uniform Relocation Act process, also known as URA, applicable to your project now that you have received HOME and or National Housing Trust Fund dollars. Minnesota Housing's mission is to provide access to safe, decent, affordable housing and build stronger communities across the state by offering products and services to help Minnesotans buy and fix up their homes and stabilize neighborhoods, communities, and families. Minnesota Housing also supports the development and preservation of affordable rental housing through both the financing and long-term asset management of projects and developments. The agency has also pioneered a successful model for supportive housing that helps stabilize the lives of some of the state's most vulnerable citizens. This tutorial will cover the following topics, an overview of federal programs, an overview of the Uniform Relocation Act, an explanation of notices, claim forms, and appeals, monitoring criteria, and finally, a URA flowchart. HOME and the National Housing Trust Fund, or NHTF, are federally funded housing programs that help to preserve and increase affordable rental housing at various rent and income levels. Although there are broader uses for these programs, Minnesota Housing uses this funding for capital investments for new construction and the rehabilitation of multifamily rental housing. The HOME program targets low-income households in Minnesota. The National Housing Trust Fund program targets extremely low-income households in Minnesota, particularly those that have incomes below 30% of area median income. The deeper income targeting of National Housing Trust Fund lends well to supportive housing initiatives in the state. Both of these programs are governed by their respective federal regulations. Minnesota Housing is charged with deploying funds and ensuring owners, developers are complying with the program requirements. As a receiver of these scarce federal resources, you must comply with all of the program requirements. If you do not, there is a potential that your project will lose the funding altogether. The purpose of the Uniform Relocation Act is to provide displaced persons with fair, equitable treatment and protection from disproportionate injury by projects designed to benefit the public. The owner must adhere to URA requirements. It is Minnesota Housing's policy to prohibit involuntary displacement of residents from developments receiving Minnesota Housing funding. However, if a development receives home funds, the owner must take all reasonable steps to minimize displacement. If displacement is necessary and approved by Minnesota Housing, the owner must comply with Section 104D, 104D regulations, URA, home regulations, and any other applicable federal or state laws and regulations regarding displacement. To the extent feasible, residential tenants must be provided a reasonable opportunity to lease and occupy a suitable, decent, safe, sanitary, and affordable dwelling unit in the building and or complex upon completion of the project. Note that Minnesota Housing will consider projects that do not result in displacement over projects where displacement is more likely to occur. Displacement occurs when a person is displaced as a direct result of a federally assisted acquisition, demolition, or rehabilitation project. The term displaced person means any tenant, regardless of income, who is forced to move from the property permanently. Temporary relocation occurs when a tenant is required to move temporarily, either within the project or to an off-site location in order to accommodate a federally assisted acquisition, demolition, or rehabilitation. Relocation is only considered temporary if the tenant's relocation is for 12 months or a shorter period of time. If the relocation exceeds 12 months, it is considered displacement under URA regulations, and relocation benefits must be paid. URA regulations are triggered once the initiation of negotiations occurs. Signing the funding acceptance agreement for home and or National Housing Trust Fund dollars is the official initiation of negotiations. URA must be followed for the length of the project. For a complete description of URA requirements, refer to Chapter 7 of the Home Investment Partnerships and National Housing Trust Fund Combined Program Guide that can be found on Minnesota Housing's website at www.mnhousing.gov. 
Minnesota Housing also has a residential anti-displacement and relocation assistance plan in accordance with URA regulations. A tenant relocation plan that conforms to all URA requirements is required for all federally assisted projects involving rehabilitation or acquisition. The plan must include an outline of how tenants will be accommodated during construction, an overview of construction activities, a project timeline, an estimated budget, and whether or not the scope of work will require temporary or permanent relocation. The plan should include a description of the scope of work, how many tenants will be affected by temporary relocation and or permanent displacement, and how unexpected displacement will be handled. The plan must also include details of an appeals process consistent with 49 CFR Code of Federal Regulations 24.10. Refer to Chapter 7 of the Home Investment Partnerships and National Housing Trust Fund Combined Program Guide found on Minnesota Housing's website for more detailed information about what should be included in the relocation plan. When submitting an application, owners, developers will also be required to submit rent rolls for the most recent three months prior to the application date. Once selected for federal funds, the owner-developer will need to submit monthly rent rolls as well as all move-in notices for new tenants. This will be ongoing until project closeout. Move-in notices are described later in this tutorial. URA regulations require several notices to be delivered to all tenants and or potential tenants of the property receiving federal funds. Minnesota Housing provides templates of all notices on its website, except for the 90-day notice, which should be developed by the owner-developer. The templates include instructions on how to tailor the notices to the specific project. Minnesota Housing requires drafts of all notices to be submitted as due diligence for the agency's review and approval. Once Minnesota Housing approves the drafts, the owner-developer must deliver applicable notices to the tenants. All notices must be delivered, minimally, to all adult leaseholders. Tenant notices should be delivered in one of the following ways. In-person, hand delivery, or by certified return receipt via the U.S. Postal Service. Owners developers are required to provide to Minnesota Housing copies of all tenant specific notices. The following notices are required to be delivered to all tenants living on the property at the time of the initiation of negotiations. Failure to provide any of these notices could leave the owner developer liable to pay URA benefits to tenants who vacate the property for any reason during the project. The HUD information brochure can be found on HUD's website and is linked in the Home Investment Partnerships and National Housing Trust Fund Combined Program Guide. The General Information Notice, or GIN, informs tenants of the receipt of federal funds for acquisition and or rehabilitation. Tenants residing in the property at the time of the initiation of negotiations, or ION, must be provided a GIN within 30 days. The Notice of Non-Displacement informs tenants who will remain in the project after completion of the assisted activity of their rights and of the terms and conditions for remaining at the property during construction. This is a separate notice and requirement from the GIN. However, the GIN and the Notice of Non-Displacement can be delivered at the same time. Move-in notices must be signed by all new tenants moving into the property prior to signing the lease. This notice informs new tenants that they may be displaced and that they will not be entitled to relocation assistance under URA. Failure to provide this notice could leave owners developers liable to pay URA benefits if the tenant vacates the property for any reason during the project. If permanent displacement is expected, or if it occurs unexpectedly during the project, additional notices are required for tenants affected. The Notice of Eligibility informs tenants who will be permanently displaced of the available relocation assistance, the estimated amount of assistance based on the displaced person's individual circumstances and needs, and the procedures for obtaining assistance. The 90-day notice is created by owners, developers, and must be provided to tenants who will be displaced at least 90 days prior to their move-out. The notice must not be given before they receive their notice of eligibility. The development team must conduct a relocation needs assessment and also complete Form HUD 40061 
for each tenant affected. Form HUD 40061 is selection of most representative comparable replacement dwelling for computing a replacement housing payment and is linked in the program guide. HUD provides claim forms to use when calculating benefits. Each URA file for tenants who are displaced requires Form HUD 40058, Claim for Rental Assistance or Down Payment Assistance, and Form HUD 40054, Residential Claim for Moving and Related Expenses. Each URA file for tenants who are temporarily relocated also requires Form HUD 40058, as well as Form HUD 40030, Claim for Temporary Relocation Expenses. Links to these forms can be found in the Home Investment Partnerships and National Housing Trust Fund Combined Program Guide. Additionally, tenants have the right to appeal the claim amount they have been provided. The Tenant Relocation Plan must include details of the appeals process consistent with 49 CFR 24.10. Owners developers must track all appeals submitted and the outcome of each decision. Written responses to tenants must include information regarding the tenant's ability to appeal the decision. Refer to HUD Handbook 1378 for more information on the appeals process. Minnesota Housing will monitor URA files at project closeout for both temporary relocation and permanent displacement. The file should, at a minimum, contain the following all applicable notices, all applicable claim forms, copies of all checks, proof that Form HUD 40061 was delivered to affected tenants, any applicable communication, and any appeals information if applicable. Additionally, files for tenants who were displaced should also contain selection of most representative comparable replacement dwelling for computing a replacement housing payment, Form HUD 40061, Replacement Housing Payment, Replacement Housing Rent and Utility Costs, and proof that the replacement dwelling is decent, safe, and sanitary. Remember that more information about file monitoring can be found in the Home Investment Partnerships and National Housing Trust Fund Combined Program Guide located on our website. This URA flowchart explains the course of action once displacement, non-displacement, and or temporary relocation is determined. Note the two paths depending on circumstances, but remember that URA compliance is triggered by the initiation of negotiations or the signing of the funding acceptance agreement. Thank you for watching Minnesota Housing's Uniform Relocation Act tutorial and how it relates to home and national housing trust fund funds. Your federal programs team lead is listed in the portal. Feel free to reach out with any questions.